Welcome to the 80s, a time of jazzercise, Rubik's Cubes, mullets, leg warmers, shoulder pads and the biggest scandal in pop music history, Millie Vanilli. The year is 1987. A group from Maryland called New Marks writes a song called Girl You Know It's True. People in America are going to love this. They didn't. But someone in Germany saw potential for the song. This song is totally tubular. Fab Morvan and Rob Pilatus have become breakdancing sensations. They are attractive, cool, and most importantly, marketable. A music producer named Frank Farian sees an opportunity and decides to re-record his own version of Girl You Know It's True using session singers Brad Howell, John Davis, Charles Shaw, Jody Rocco and Linda Rocco. That sounded great, guys. The band is going to love it. Frank signs Robin Fab to be the face of Millie Vanilli, and Girl You Know It's True becomes a mega hit around the world. They were huge. Millie Vanilli's debut album goes six times platinum in the US and Diamond in Canada. Hey, should this thing be plugged in? Details, Rob, details. It was an almost flawless plan. However, cracks appear in the facade. During an MTV festival in Connecticut, a playback glitch exposes Rob and Fab as lip syncers. The rumor mill starts circulating, but nothing sticks. And then the unimaginable happens. And the winner of the 1990 Grammy for Best New Artist is Millie Vanilli. However, Fab and Rob are sick of lip syncing, so they press Frank to let them sing or get out of their contract. Frank, feeling cornered, hosts a shocking press conference admitting that Rob and Fab never really sang, but we're fabulous stage performers. It's fine that they didn't sing the songs, right? The Grammys disagreed. Um, we're taking this back now. The fans felt angry and betrayed. Frank releases a new album titled The Real Millie Vanilli, featuring the original session singers. I always believed in you guys. But it's too late. The name Millie Vanilli is stained forever. Unfortunately, in the aftermath, Rob Pilatus was found dead in a hotel in Frankfurt due to a drug and alcohol overdose. Fab, on the other hand, continues to make his own music even to this day. And that's the story of how two lip syncers became prominent voices of a generation and how the music of Millie Vanilli lives on.